Okay, let's just remember how I actually like to film these videos. I have a very specific routine, if, if you like, for this, this kind of thing. What's up guys, Liam here, welcome back to LSJ TV for the 2023 Goals in Numbers video. I've been doing this for a long time now. I've been doing YouTube for seven, about about seven years, more than that. This is my eighth year, like seven and a half years. A long time, anyway, <laughs> like a, a long time, a lot longer than you would think for this for the size of the channel. But we move. It's all good. So I'm gonna take my my lovely hat off. Um, I like to split this up into three sections, and we're gonna be keeping it raw today. It's just gonna be me and you talking, sat in my car, sat in Bobby. How you all doing? Hope you had a great Christmas, happy new year, all that kind of stuff. This is something that I normally like to do um, maybe like a week or so ago, um, but I've only just kind of got around to doing it now um, because of the whole America trip. It's just, it's just been a bit nuts. Like life has been a bit crazy, a lot going on kind of behind the scenes as well, which you will all see uh, soon enough. Um, but it's just been, it's just been freaking mental. So I like to split this up into three sections. This whole video, I do it every year. Life goals. What's the second one? Business goals and uh, social media goals. So the video is titled my 2023 goals in numbers. But to be honest, the longer that I've gone on doing this whole social media thing, the less I have focused on the numbers and the more I preach about focusing on the numbers less, right? The less that you focus on the stuff that fuels your ego and the more you focus on what you're going to monetize um, and how you're going to monetize, the, the better, really. And that's the kind of differentiation that a lot of people tend to kind of forget about. And it's, in my opinion, the most important thing. And it is my job and it has been for a couple of years, even with only a few thousand followers. So I can have my two cents on it. You know, I'm not a frigging guru or an expert, but I can have my my two cents on it and that kind of is it in a nutshell really but anyway we'll start off with life goals um i just want to be happy i say this every every year i spent a great deal of last year being unhappy um feeling unfulfilled feeling dissatisfied with with my life um, although I look back at 2022 and I think, fuck me, like, you know, we did a lot, we achieved a lot, a lot happened last year, like a lot, lots of changes, good, bad, everything in between. It was a wild, wild year, you know, and it finished so, so strong. I, f I feel like I lost myself for a lot of last year when it came to creating content, not only for myself, for, for other, for everything. I feel like so much happened last year that I, I, I lost myself for a great deal of that. And this year I intend to focus on, on me, on myself, building up myself and those around me, of course, you know, like that's my intention for this year is to basically Just as long as I've got a smile on my face, I'm good. I've always said that. Whether I'm making videos or whatever it is that I wind up doing, like I will, of course, be always be making this my favorite thing to do. But as long as I'm happy, then I'm I'm really, really, really not fussed. I cannot put it any simpler than than that. So my number one life goal is to be happy. Along with that kind of happiness, that will then ooze. And I feel like it already has done with these America videos and there's still so many more to come. Like that will ooze into the content and it, the, the vibes and just the feels that you will get from, from watching that. You, I feel like a lot of you will resonate somewhat with it because everyone has that kind of thing, like going to America and doing everything that I've just, just done this past like few weeks and stuff um, has been a lot of what this channel has been building up to for the past seven years, you know? So... I feel like the momentum will build back with that. Some of the momentum, momentum that I feel like I lost ever since my kind of concussion, really. Um, I feel like that will kind of come back after this trip. 2023 is going to be a, a a good, good, good year, you know, which kind of takes me on to business goals. Section number two. I want to do everything that I am doing now, but bigger and better than ever before, right? 
there was periods of last year where I took on way too much. Um, and it's a mistake that I feel like everybody, especially self-employed people, I feel like everybody makes. Um, it's a mistake that I hadn't made before because I'd always been so capable of managing such a high workload. However, I just bit off a little bit more than I could chew at a few different times last year, right? Um, I wound up doing a lot of stuff that I just wasn't expecting to do. And then along alongside that came things with like my retainers that I had, that I, responsibilities that I already had. They kind of increased all at the same time. And I somewhat expected that, but just not to the level of what actually happened. Um, and so I've learned from it. Um, that kind of thing, that kind of... Uh, <sighs> Not workload won't happen again because that workload will happen all the time. It just happened in America, you know, but like my point is I will be able to manage it. I know how I can manage it better now. And one of the ways that I can do that is, is to be honest, not mixing business with pleasure, not doing so much with with um, friends and family and all of that kind of stuff, because that often is either at a reduced rate or at this from like a media business kind of perspective right often at a reduced rate or for free right and if that becomes starts to become expected which i feel like it, it does and did with quite a few different people last year that can be a problem for no one but me you know and then i just wound up digging and digging and digging this hole um and yeah i, I i've learned from it and it won't be happening again and it's something that I've spoken to numerous people about it. And I feel like it's something that everyone encounters in their life at some point, at some stage. Obviously, my old man is, in, is self-employed as well. And so, like, you know, he's he's been around the block a few times. He's been self-employed for about 40 years. He knows the book. He knows the tricks, you know. So, um, spoken to him about it. Spoken to lots of other people about it. And everyone has, unfortunately, their way of finding that out. And, and unfortunately, that was me this year. Um but you live and you learn and and it's all it's all good like you know it it won't happen again and um i I'll be able to, to to manage it a lot better you know i'm going to structure my time and um one thing i actually forgot to mention in in life goals and one of my biggest life goals is to actually schedule in time off this year i have worked in particular the last 6 months well and truly <laughs> fucking flat out like i feel like i have aged because i've hardly slept i've my nutrition has just not been on point my training has somewhat even suffered from it because i'm not a fan i'm not a fan of that when when it kind of starts to interfere with that um and i don't want to let that happen because that then takes its toll on my mental health and so obviously the biggest goal of this entire video is to be happy if that's going to start taking a toll on my mental health kind of defeats the object you know so um yeah a big big goal is to schedule at least one day off per week for me, right? Because I will go two, three, four, five, six weeks, a few months without a day off. Like, and only just the other day did I actually take some time to myself, you know? Um, and it was great. And it's much, much needed. And that will be coming a lot more this year. I'm promising that to myself and if I'm not doing that I want you guys to please hold me accountable because it is key to my my mental health to have that time because there has been pretty dark times where I've really just just dug and dug and dug and dug and dug and worked and worked and worked I say dark times it's not it's just like getting done what you got to get done you know but like th that does eventually start to take its toll on you mentally and um, it has at a few different stages this year for me so last year I should say um, but yeah, we've, we've, we've learned from it and again, it, it won't happen again. Kind of coupling in with that as well. I, I want to say no to, to more things this year because I, I, I don't like saying no. I've always been of the mindset of I'm self-employed. I'm trying to grow my business. It's social media. It's constant. It never, cause it never stops. You don't get days off because if you don't upload and you're a small creator like me, you lose that momentum. It's as simple as that. Why do you think I stick no excuses, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, because you have to. But having said that, a massive focus is to have at least one day off per week. Honestly, re like realistically, I can't see that happening. So I think a realistic like time frame for me to have days off would be seven, anywhere from like 
a week to 10 days, I need a day off, you know, like a day where I don't open my laptop, where I don't post on Instagram, where I don't do TikToks, all of that kind of stuff. Or if I do post TikToks, I will draft them before so that I can still post them on the day. Um, Cause I do like to post daily on TikTok. Um, at least a few times a day, you know, that's just kind of where that platform is at at the minute. That's what my protein are telling me. It's what all the people from high up are kind of telling me to do. Um, and I'm just listening, soaking it all up like a, like a little sponge, you know? So, um, yeah, that again, that kind of leads me on to section number three, social media goals. I used to have numbers in mind. I used to like to double the amount that I had. But that was when I had like 500 subs or like a thousand subs or whatever. Like you try and double this channel from five to 10 in a year with the way that YouTube is right now, that's probably not happening in a term, in a terms of like from a monetary point of view, in terms of earning more money, doubling the amount of money. Yeah, that has great potential. I could definitely do that. But in terms of getting from 5k subs to 10k subs, probably not. So I'm just not even going to set that as a goal. I don't care about the numbers. The numbers do not matter. The numbers fuel your ego temporarily as well. They do not pay your bills. What pays your bills is, is my protein stuff, is selling clear way, is doing media shoots, right? That is what pays my bills, not having 6k, 7k, 8k subscribers, you know? To a certain extent, yes, that could flip and turn and you earn more money from social media, like directly from YouTube, and that could pay your bills, yeah, but you need to be getting millions and millions of views. That's just not me. I can't ever see that being me. I feel like if that was going to be me, it probably would have happened by now, but you, you never say never and all that, you know? And it would be really cool. But that's just not, you can't bank on that, you know, and I would say that to anyone, any client, any media client, anyone that's creating social media, you can be that one in a billion that goes viral, but you can't bank on being that one in a billion, you know, you could well be, especially if you put the graft in, but you can't bank on that, you know, so social media goals, I, I, I'm getting sidetracked. In terms of numbers. I do have a number in mind for TikTok um, that I would like to hit, a very realistic, I feel, with the way that things are right now and the way that the people that I've got behind me in terms of support network, I feel like we can really, really push hard on TikTok this year, really push hard. Um, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, short form content, I really, 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 really want to push it. and efficiently so as well and I've been working on ways over the past few months when I've had this massive workload I've almost been forced to find this way to efficiently post for myself right and I feel like that has somewhat perfected everything happens for a reason right I've somewhat helped it somewhat helped me perfect that for myself so that now I can take this into this year and and smash it really hammer it home you know so in terms of numbers, I do have a few in my head, but only one specifically for TikTok. Instagram, don't care. You don't even need 10K to swipe up anymore. It doesn't like to, to have a link on there. You don't even, it doesn't matter. Like it does not matter. I would just like to have some sort of rough goal for TikTok in terms of number of people that we are reaching on a daily basis in terms of, not necessarily in terms of engagement, <clears throat> excuse me, or in terms of um sales or anything like that through tiktok shop which is going great by the way thank you guys for your support on that like that has really really helped me take this to like it's really helped me expand my opportunities for this year in terms of negotiations for certain things and in terms of just it's it's just really really helped so although a lot of the people that buy on tiktok shop aren't subscribers or aren't followers they just freaking pop in, buy some clear way and then bugger off. They don't even follow, you know, like <laughs> that's fine. As long as they keep on coming, you know, um, and then the occasional one sticks around and enjoys the content and maybe learn a thing or two or laugh along the way, you know, who knows. But um, in terms of YouTube, Instagram, TikTok uh, and whatever new platform emerges um, this year, because something else new will come up. It's about you. Um, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing, but manage it a lot more efficiently you know in a sense of i can plan in those days off that i want um or need i should say but other than that that's it training goals i don't have any specific training goals i'm just going to take it as it comes keep getting stronger keep getting bigger and just enjoy training because i right now i don't look the best i've ever looked because i'm a little bit puffy right now right but if i lost 10 12 pounds right now I would 100% look the best I've ever looked. Better than summer shredding a couple of years ago and all that kind of stuff. I would look way better now than I did then. And that's very exciting to me. So in terms of training goals, I'll do an entire specific video for that. But this is just life, business, 
and, and, and socials and stuff. I'll do that in the next kind of like week or so. But the next video that you guys will see, we will be back at Alpha Land. So, if you have enjoyed this one, do me a massive favor, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, stick some of your New Year's goals, some of your New Year's resolution. Blah, 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 blah. Do I crop? Do I crop that? No. Okay. <laughs> some of your New Year's resolutions in the comment section down below. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to chat with you guys. Happy New Year. Hope you all had a great Christmas. Thank you all so much for the support on the uh, America videos. It, it really, really, really does mean a lot because it, it mean it just means a lot to me to be there. And, and you'll see that in the content that's coming over the next couple of weeks. So thank you all for watching. Together, we will grow. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you all in the next one. At the Oasis. Woo!